Well, hey, welcome back. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. This seems discreet enough. Where's the funeral? Good enough. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Oh God, I'm not sure if that's her being frail <laughs> or the Why game just being Mary? bad there. Let's stick her here in this cold, God awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me out. Yes, madam. Avery did it. Avery's my maker oh, for sure. Mary. What have I done? If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. I am a, I feel like a hypocrite. I wish the tears would come. But I'm empty. And I feel a hypocrite. Let your pain run free, Jonathan. Don't smother it. What you feel is your humanity. Don't be so quick to lose it. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. I'm learning. Every night is a new lesson. What I am, what I must do to survive. But my sister, she shouldn't have suffered because of my weakness. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. You may be right. Of course. I've stared upon this world for centuries. And time has taught me to deal with guilt, if not erase it. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. 
Go there and make your peace. <laughs> what is that face? I was trying to be serious and My enjoy this, and then he just confess. turns around like an idiot. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. All right. Time to go to church. Time to confess your sins. Absolute rudeness. You're gonna need some blood there, mate. Appreciate it. Now let's go. The eye was in the tomb. I, I don't understand. What does that mean? And off to church he goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Oh, Jesus. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. What? Who the hell? These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. It's one of them! Didn't see me coming, buddy. Me to church, but I'm walking like the dog and it's done. I'm done. I'm done with that song for sure. Let's go to church. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. May I help you, child? <laughs> you seem somewhat perturbed. Uh, you fucking lost? Across the threshold. I wish to pray. To cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. 
With whom do you wish to speak? Just know I cared for her. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She has been laid to rest. That's all you need to know. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? Forgive me. Forgiveness. I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Loading. Whatever okay. happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. Confess my sins, I'll go back to work with my bone saw. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? Double whammy. Battery was low and I got attacked by skulls. You guys can kill each other. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. Are you my maker? Fear be God. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. You selected me chose me but why as shall my children yet to come what is it you seek this age is sickly an ancient poison an older rage brewed in a cauldron newly forged this has something to do with the epidemic seek truth my champion defeat the serpent Uh. 
right. Sounds I've great. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity. Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. Indeed. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave cool. Him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. <laughs> oh my god, come on. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. All right, buddy, tell me what's going on. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are... Confidence. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. Mm -hmm. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. Uh oh. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The gossip queen. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around... You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beat. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you rip... Well, I mean, they're not wrong. Well, they are not far wrong. The hospital is almost crawling with vampires. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Ha the sad saint of the East End will find our boy Sean next time. Have a care.